Hello everyone and welcome back to another instructional how-to video for rocketraven.net. Today we're going to be going over learning how to list um, an asset slash NFT uh, for sale on the autonomous P2P listing section. So if you take a look here in the listings, you'll see the most recent listings for uh, assets NFTs uh, on this platform. So you have some uh, lamps, RV and eggs, Billion Ape Club. You got the Sacrone Cronenberg 20s on there, Cat Bits, some Indie Bows. Um, so there's a bunch of uh, NFTs available already. Um, so the process for, for for listing NFTs is pretty simple. So the first thing you need to do is register <laughs> so you can check out the previous video on how to register and, and set up an account on rocketraven.net and once you have an account once you register the system will give you a wallet address uh, this wallet address is what we call the hosted wallet address as this wallet uh, lives on the rocketraven.net system now this wallet is what you're going to be uh, working with whenever you're on Rocket Raven. Now this is not known as a self-custody wallet. You always want to have a self-custody wallet where you keep all your main um, NFTs and your main assets as this would be the most secure solution. Now to get a self-custody wallet, we actually have uh, another system in place, which was a web wallet developed by the user uh, Raven Rebels. And if you're on rocketraven.net, just simply click on the wallet link in the navigation and that will bring you to the rebel wallet now i'll be using this as my self custody wallet and this will also be what i'm going to be interacting with to transfer the assets in ravencoin needed to supply the rocket raven account to list an asset now currently to list an asset is only five ravencoin so if you go to the wallet You'll see I already preloaded some Ravencoin here. I have seven Ravencoin in this wallet, in the Rebel wallet. This is the self-custody wallet uh, that's offered on RocketRaven.net. Again, just to say it again, developed by uh, Raven Rebel. Um, and the asset I'll be listing today is a Niftymon. Uh, now this is a uh, autonomous Discord uh, card battle game uh, designed by NFTRVI.net. Nifty Raven. So this is Nifty Mon number 1296. So to proceed with creating a listing, you have to copy your Rocket Raven hosted address. And it's clearly mentioned here your rock, rocketraven.net Ravencoin wallet address is here. So I'm going to copy this address. I'm going to go to my self custody wallet. Uh, and then here, I'm going to transfer this asset. So I'm going to select that asset, which is the Nifty Mon. And I'm going to transfer one of them. And I'm going to send it to that wallet address. So I always try to make sure that everything is right. I don't have any extra spaces. Because if you incorrectly type this, or you copy and paste this, and you're missing a character or have extra characters, there's a very good chance pretty much 100% chance that it will not get to the destination you want it to go. So always take a look, make sure there's no extra characters in the beginning or the end. And then once you're confident that that is in fact the correct wallet address, click send. Uh, it's gonna ask you, uh, do you wanna send one to that address? Again, it's very important to confirm this. You don't wanna accidentally send it to uh, the wrong wallet as it may just disappear into the abyss of the blockchain. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to initiate sending. So we got that message success. OK. So now I also need to transfer five Raven coin to this address. So again, I'm going to copy that address. Make sure I copy the whole thing right because I'm talking about it. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to select the asset of RBN. I'm going to put five and again to that wallet. And let's hit send. Again, we're gonna get that confirmation. It's gonna initiate it. So 
it says not enough RVN to transfer asset. Perhaps your wallet has pending transactions. So it is possible. We need to wait for this to complete. So let's give that a minute. So in the meantime, let's go to where we're going to go manage these assets. So that's going to be in what we call the hub. Uh, so you're going to click on my hub or click on your name once you're logged in. And here, if you scroll down, you're going to see all the assets that are in this wallet that you can manage. So here I have a bunch of assets already. Mostly it's from the faucet. Uh, so we're going to wait for the Nifty Mon 1296. So let's see, it hasn't arrived yet. So let's go back to the wallet again and see where that is at in terms of transferring that. So typically when you're sending, what has to happen is you have to wait for the next um, blockchain to find a block. So people who are mining, whatever, we're waiting for them to find a block to store the information there. So this process usually takes around a minute or so. Uh, sometimes could take longer depending on on the status of you know the algorithm and stuff uh, so let's give this a moment so now we're going to transfer the five raven coin needed to supply listing so again we're going to put five here we're going to this address so let's hit send we're going to confirm okay success because I guess it can only transfer one asset at a time so now again this has to go through the same process now, to speed it along, I already have some Ravencoin in this account, which I'll use. And since the Niftymon 1296 transferred, it should show up here in the wallet. And there it is, Niftymon 1296. So I'm going to simply click List for Sale directly in the hub. It'll pre-populate the name. You don't need to change this because if you change it, it will error out. Now, by default, I use a, uh, a default preview image for assets <clears throat> uh, but you definitely want to add your specific IPFS for the asset that you want to list so I'm just going to pre-populate this with this which is that default one here I'm going to put one because I only have one uh, I'm not putting this in a collection but collections are great for organizational purposes on the website uh, for example, if I wanted to make a collection of just Niftymon, I can type in Niftymon, but I don't want to claim ownership of that collection name. Um, we also offer to add the collection preview IPFS here as well. So if you're not familiar with IPFS is, it's just a way of having a decentralized image serving solution. So instead of storing it on like let's say an Amazon service or saving it on a typical web two as they call hosting solution. This is served through a decentralized, almost community driven uh, image service. Again, we'll be creating videos for that. Uh, so how much do you want to sell this for? So this is a pretty interesting NFT. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list it for 150. Uh, it was a, a 4-1 Dabra with Berserk. Uh, we can enter the zip, uh, a description for the asset. So we're just going to write Niftymon 1296 Dabra with Berserk 4-1. Um, again, we're also working on doing uh, auctions. Uh, we just still have to work on that coding. So as of right now, listings are just uh, on a buy now basis. I'm going to click I'm not a robot. Let's click the bus or whatever parts are visible. Or fine. So now let's list the asset for sale and see what happens. Awesome. Very quickly. So asset launched. Congratulations. Your listing has been successfully created. Now share your listing link and draw attention to your listing to make some sales. So the listing created was one Niftymon 1296. Uh, we also supply with the transaction ID for the fee payment uh, the, and that's showing the five that's transferred and the asset transfer um, all the assets are listed they're moved from your hosted account to a temporary holding wallet till the sale uh, happens so now let's click on listings and see so remember we didn't actually um, add the IPFS for the preview image so this is what I meant by that preview image so 
since we didn't set it it's going to default to this now we do offer a solution to get that so if we click the blue button here and uh, you can now see the image so what we can do now is copy the ipfs hash of this nft we'll go back to our listing and now i'm going to edit my listing and i'm going to change that ipfs hash for the main image to that new one so after you paste the ipfs hash for the preview image i'm also going to put the password for this account uh, the only way to update listings is if you uh, input your password just to prevent uh, abuse or any kind of uh, un unwanted changes to the listings let's hit update listing so niftymon 1296 has been updated so let's view the updated listing and now you can see on the listings the correct image uh, we're still working on auto populating the ipfs hashes for the assets uh, but this is going to take a little bit of time to get it functional so as of right now there will be a little manual uh, work to get it going but there you have it very simple very easy straight within the same uh, system you can um, transfer assets to and from the self-custody raven Re rebel wallet to your hosted rocket raven account from within that rocket raven account you can list an asset and it all happens autonomously and quickly so i hope this was educational and informative and i hope this helps you uh in your uh, journey using uh ravencoin as a crypto blockchain solution for your digital assets so thank you and have a great day Thank you.